So, Conor McGregor retires. Is it legit? Who knows, right? The guy said it before. You got to kind of take everything he says with a grain of salt because the guy blows a lot of hot air. You know, he's he's... He's got fucking problems. You know, this guy, he's got more more legal things going on right now. I mean, he's buried up to his eyeballs in legal issues. You know, I mean, everything from it started with the with the Dolly incident, right? When he was attacking Khabib Nurmagomedov, um, what was it, a couple years ago? Threw that Dolly through the bus window. Um, then he had a bunch of lawsuits coming his way that he had to fend off. Um, you know, Michael Chiesa filed lawsuit against him you know he just then he had to face all the different uh penalties dished out by the athletic commission for that um and it turns out he just got done completing like the community service for that right and then he takes some fan's cell phone some fan who was like getting video of him leaving a nightclub or something takes his cell phone smashes it on the ground steps on it and then steals it so he just he just wrapped up one one case. Then he then he shoots himself in the foot again. And now I mean, we're just hearing about some sexual assault case he's dealing with that stems back to December or something of this past year. Um from some hotel in Ireland. You know, somebody made made a claim against him. Um you know, alleged a sexual assault. So um Man, the guy's got, this guy's got issues, man. It's, I feel like I should be blaring more money, more problems, you know, like, like in the background of this video or something. I mean, you think about all these guys who have all this success, but it just seems like no matter what they do, they just can't, they can't escape the, the inevitable downfalls that come with it. They have more money than God. You know, they have more opportunities in the palm of their hands than, than most of us can even dream of. But yet, they, they're constantly, constantly tarnishing their reputation. Constantly putting their foot in their own mouth. It's like, you know, one step forward, two steps back for these, for these people. And I mean, you see it all over the board, all across the board with celebrities, athletes. Anybody who's reached any level of stardom or fame, they all, at some point or another, deal with these things. And I get it. It's got to be tough, right? You have people following you around all the time. You can't go outside your front door without somebody recognizing you, without somebody noticing you. It's got to be annoying as hell. Like, I get that, but it comes with the territory. You know? I mean, yeah, it, it would drive you nuts. It would drive me nuts, too. It would get old quick, but... For what you get in return, for having so much money that you don't have to worry about anything financially. I mean, it'll be worth it to me, you know? I mean, I mean, we all have bad days, right? But Conor McGregor, man, there's something wrong with that guy. And I mean, if he does step away from it, if he does step away from fighting and he's serious this time, I think it's probably a good move because the fighters nowadays are so well-rounded that he really... He doesn't stand a very good chance at, at beating a lot of these guys. I mean, you talk about like a Tony Ferguson who's having issues outside the octagon himself right now. You talk about a guy like Ferguson. Con Connor has no chance beating Tony Ferguson. Connor just got whipped. What was it? Six, seven months ago by Khabib. And if they ran that fight back again, the same thing would happen. Um, you know, who else? Even Ally Aquinta would be a really, really tough fight for Conor McGregor. A guy who's just gritty, tough as nails, hits like a truck, is durable, is well-rounded. Because, I mean, as good as Conor McGregor is, right, as good as his hands are, as unorthodox as he is, um, as heavy as he hits, he's still not what I would consider a well-rounded fighter. He's just not. I mean, he's always been hell on wheels on the feet. But when it goes to the ground, it's, it's, it's a roll of the dice, and... That's always been his downfall. 
you know, and the guys nowadays, they're so well-rounded. They can do it all, you know. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to chalk Conor McGregor up to being, like, one-dimensional, but he is primarily a stand-up fighter. If he can keep a fight standing, he's hell on wheels, but he's also shown that he tanks out, he gasses out in fights. So even if he can keep it standing, can he carry that stamina and that conditioning that cardio into the later rounds in order to be effective in rounds four and five. He's shown that he's vulnerable. You know, when in fights when when shit hits a fan, when the going gets tough, when he gets drug into deep waters, he folds and he fades. So if he is retiring for real this time, I think it's probably a wise move on his part because I don't... I mean, he would have to literally cherry pick and hand select his fights from now on to make sure that he gets wins. And being such a big name like him, you can't do that. You know, it's not like he could just he could just pick the number 22 ranked guy and fight him just because he wants to fight him. No. You know, your name your name is 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 a household name, right? Like you need to fight people in the top ten. And anybody in the top ten across the board, I mean realistically could probably beat Conor McGregor. I'm not saying they would beat him. But I'm saying that, you know, it's, there are no easy fights for Conor McGregor in the top 10. None. As a matter of fact, every fight in the top 10 for Conor McGregor is, is hard, is a tough match. So, you know, I think he knows that his, his time is limited in the sport as far as success goes, and he can't really afford to lose any more fights. I mean, what was it? His last win was what? November of 2016, right? And we're in March of 2019. You know, he lost to uh, Floyd Mayweather in boxing. What was it, 2017? And, of course, got pretty much dominated by Khabib just last year in October of 2018. So, man, the guy the guy hasn't done anything impressive fighting-wise in years. So, you know, I, I'm glad. If he is walking away, I'm glad. You know, don't hold up the division. Don't keep the fans wondering when the hell you'll be back. Don't put up these tweets like, oh, I'm coming back. I'm just waiting on a fight to get lined up. Bro, flush all that shit down the down the toilet, man, because, you know, you haven't... Bro, it's, a, it's all hot air. It's all talk right now. He's got big things going on with his whiskey line, proper 12. He doesn't need to fight. And, and the second these guys start thinking about retirement, they probably should. They should walk away because this isn't like an office job where you show up you do the same shit every day. I mean, this is a fight. Combat sport. You know, you're putting your health on the line every time. So, you know, I don't know. Am I buying it that he's retired? I'm split right down the middle, guys. 50-50. Um, like, it wouldn't surprise me if he's serious and, and he never fights again. But at the same time, it wouldn't surprise me if this is just bullshit um, on his part, you know, in, in hopes he can get some sort of big money fight deal going or something. I I don't know. You never know with the guy. But one thing I know is the guy's got fucking problems. You know, I like Conor McGregor. He's entertaining, right? One of the most entertaining guys around. He's fun to watch when he fights. But he's got a lot of shit going on right now in his life that he's got to get figured out. You know, I just, man, I, I would much rather see the guy get his personal life in order than, than see him back in the octagon.